very interesting phone call yesterday, didn't we, puppies? That involved her a little bit. Had this fellow named Craig ring me up, actually, and, uh, and told me that he was the secretary for Dr. Harry, Harry's practice, and I uh, wanted to do a bit of a story on on the little puppies here. So I had a bit of a chat. I thought something was up a little bit, especially when uh, right towards the end, he was saying, can we change the name of puppies to Harry? Because Harry would like that. That's when the alarm bells totally went off and I went, yeah, you're pulling my bloody leg here. Isn't that right? That's what she thought too, yeah. What it was, the bugger just wanted me to cart some freight for him. Naturally, I obliged. Oh, here we go. G'day, Nick, how are you? You gonna help me tarp this thing? Is that in my job description? It bloody is. There you go. I'm so, there you go. Not, exactly how I <laughs> not exactly how I planned this video to go, to go, but ultimately, this is the freight that he wanted moved. As you would know, I don't actually carry tarps or timbers or anything. So luckily, MK Trucking had one of their tarps here at no problem towing. So I'll be able to tarp that up. And thanks to AGT Pallets down in Hastings, where I was yesterday, they were able to make me up a couple of bear, a few bearers there. So I get this big girl on. So we craned it on this morning. Naturally, we cranes, it takes a bit of time. But now, now's the fun part. We get to put a tarp on top of that, roll it out and protect it from the rain. You bloody beauty, hey? We love tarping. Takes us back to 1984, doesn't it? Well, not so much me, because I wasn't even born, but you get the idea anyway. Yeah, that tarp's not wide enough, so now I'm going to have to double up, which isn't too bad, because I believe there's the odd hole in this little red one, so it's not going to hurt, is it, Nick? It's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt me. <laughs> no, no. Who are you? Bloody, bloody forklift drivers, eh? So this is going to be an absolute dog for breakfast because it's not square. So we're just going to make it up as we go along a little bit, aren't we, Nick? But we've got some, somewhat of an idea, so sit back and enjoy mucking around with that. So we've got the sides tight, we've just got to get those flats over the front to try and make it square. Get a tarp over the back. This is not ideal because we're only going half the bloody trailer, so we've got to be dealing with a fair bit of roll up there. So I'll end up just rolling up with just a couple of straps. It's, it's got to be okay. It's got to be okay. It's got to stop water getting in, and that is the end goal. So let's give her a crack. It's not going anywhere. Come up reasonably tight actually and square. Pretty happy with that. Let's go have a look at the other side. How did Nick go? How did Nick go, eh? Hey, you've done all right, Nicholas. Yes, very sharp indeed. It's the thing with uh, these weird, strange loads. So... You're a tipper driver. No, I don't think general great Oh, when you did that timber job for me a little bit. <laughs> oh, right. There you go. There you go. There you go. It's now Nick's life story. So what do you reckon, puppies? You content with this? A couple of straps over the top here to tighten her off. That'll bloody do, I reckon. Yeah. So let's stand back and admire the show. It looks pretty bloody ugly, but... There's not much you can do when you've got awkward looking loads like that. Tarps aren't exactly designed for non-square stuff, so you've got to make do with what you got at times. See you later. <laughs> 